Oscar Killer 5 India Mike with cooperation with company Zach. And here you can see the details. Good, so the antenna is very well made. I will show you a, a part. So you can see here. It's uh, like a custom made uh, plastic parts. So this should be the holders. Here we have a screws. I think they are stainless steel screws or not. I think yes. Yeah, it's the stainless steel. Everything here should be stainless steel. Perfect. That is the dipole. Look at look at this plastic. Uh, it looks amazing. It's completely custom custom made. This is like um this is like a rubber or um, maybe a silicon or something. It's right on the opposite side of the PL2 uh, SO239 socket. So this is the driven element actually. And just the detail like here, you can see that all those pipes are protected by this little thing inside and they are actually waterproof everyone as you see here everyone is waterproofed and also here And this is the boom. I think the length of the boom is 1.4 meters long. And you see the holes. The holes nicely drilled, you see here. Perfect clean drilling, drilling job. I can say that it is really nice quality. And you can you can attach the brackets actually here to the end of the boom or here and also you can attach the bracket to the center let me show you where I plan to put the antenna okay so this is my hex beam antenna for HF and I plan to put the antenna right underneath, right below the hex beam antenna on that road right there on the antenna boom. It will be on the same rotator actually. So regarding the plan, I should attach first this driven element and to this place, so I should slide the boom inside here to this plastic from the end to here. Then I will continue to mount or mounting this parts like this. Also very precisely made and there is also a cap for the end of the boom which is place right here. Also here we have the elements for uh, 70 centimeters band and these ones are for 2 meters. Let me finish the antenna and we'll show you more. So first step is done. Actually uh, the driven element 
has been attached on the boom and it is secured by this little screw on the bottom and now I have to attach this element holders a plastic holders and here will be attached this way the elements so also the plastic cup is on top and these holders were attached and also on the second side of the boom is the plastic cup so two meter reflector 70 centimeters reflector this is the driven element for two meters and 70 centimeters actually both of them and this is a uh, directors for 70 and for two meters director number one and uh, i need to finish the rest good so all these elements are attached to the boom and before I secure them I need to check if everything is okay so let me see this is a reflector for two meters reflector for 70 centimeters that is for two meters and that is reflector for 70 centimeters now we have a driven elements for 70 and driven elements for two meters it's like here and this is director for 70 director one for two meters number one number one then we have number two for 70 centimeters number three for 70 centimeters so here it's number two number three for 70 centimeters and then it's the um, director number two for two meters and director number four for 70 centimeters this is director uh, for two meters uh i don't see okay i don't see the number okay this is the number number two this is okay so number two for two meters and number four for seven, 70 centimeters so it's okay and then we have um d5 and d6 for 70 centimeters so it's number five and number six for 70 centimeters and the rest is number five no number three for two meters also i don't see the number because it's on the opposite side don't worry okay so seems that the antenna has been arranged 100% okay everything is checked so now I have to secure every one element with the nuts perfect so the antenna has been finished right now and you can see that the little screws are secured and tightened as you see here a little dips The little dips in under under the screws all right good so it looks really amazing good so the final thing will be to attach the uh, brackets 
to now now it is correct and here this is the rod or the must yeah yeah that is that is correct good so I have to connect the antenna to antenna analyzer and see if it works and how it works good so this is the place where I will testing the antenna and I make a measurement so this um, Yagi is currently maybe almost two meters above the ground is mounted on this rod you can see how nice is this antenna wow it's so precise made good so I connected just this little piece of coax and here is the analyzer and look at the SWR you can see that from one 44 to 146 is below 1.5 SWR is mainly for the upper portion of 2 meters which means that this antenna is currently tuned more for repeaters but also here where is the DX portion of the band is very good as WR 1.5 let me turn the antenna to different direction okay let me see yeah there is no change no change okay let me try now let me go back to today's direction so let me try 70 centimeters now and wow look at this SWR perfect under 1.5 in whole band guys this is really cool Perfect, so I'm very very happy and I can't wait until I put this beautiful Yagi under my hex beam antenna. Here you can see the MX62M duplexer from Diamond and this is a mix output to the lightning arrestor right here and this is the output from the lightning arrestor which is going to my house and input for the MX62 is here this is actually um, VHF UHF input and right there is input for HF for short waves and here is connected to the wire and here I have some extra cable for some other purposes and here you can see that how it looks like in a final um, I had to mount the VHF UHF antenna on the end 
in the final because there was a problem with the SWR when we mounted the uh, Yagi antenna to the middle so this position is far better it is currently in horizontal polarization so the horizontal polarization is better for DXing for the long distance here you can see that in the detail so it is not so it's not so close to the hex beam but it's close and here is the view from the bottom of the antenna so this is currently heading towards west The link for this uh, OK5IM OK dual band uh, Yagi antenna you can find down in the video description. Also, I plan to do a live stream with this VHF antenna. So, maybe one day we could have a contact if you stay tuned on my channel. So, thanks very much, guys, for watching. I hope that you enjoyed. And best 73. Have a great day.